Okay, so here's a demonstration of my motorized drill press table. I know that you don't need to have one of these things because you can just reach back and grab the crank, but I didn't want to keep reaching back. So we have a momentary switch down here that raises and lowers the table. And the motor is right there. We're going to lower the table. Nice and easy. And operate to raise the table back up. And so that is, as you can see here, it's mounted to the base of the table support. Because I didn't want it mounted to the bottom of the table, I take the table off once in a while. It's actually loose on here. It'll uh, come off completely, set out of the way, and so I didn't want it interfering with that. So I mounted it different than some people would. It's a uh, 24 volt, 160 RPM DC motor, and there's a coupler here that sets it up. Powered back DC motors can be switched and reversed just by reversing polarity in the wires, so there's just two wires going down into the cabinet where the uh, uh, power supply is and I've also run the power supply, the orange one here is the power supply back down to the uh, uh, plug-in so that I just have one plug-in that goes to the wall and I made a little cover for it help keep the dust off of it and dirt off of it. I uh, did not aerate or ventilate the cover because the motor's not on long enough to heat up. So there it is. And the uh, I want to thank the folks who have been putting posting on YouTube their videos of doing this. Makes things a lot easier. Yeah. So there it is mounted into the base. So this is, a, as you can see here, it's a pedestal uh, floor table that I put on wheels and built the cabinet under it to support things. And uh, here on the side, you can see the uh, release for putting it down onto a space or picking it up on wheels. So thank you, thank you for watching. And again, thanks to the YouTube craftspeople in their shops who post these type of things. They just make working in the shop so much fun.